How we doing? All right. So, um, as I said in the Discord, uh, if anybody saw, um, it took me about ten minutes to get ready because I had to set something up. If you don't see it in chat. We have commands again. Um. So, Mux finally got a basic command structure working for TV Nightbot. Um, we don't have timers or anything yet. Uh, the plan is hopefully eventually we'll get timers going, but it's not... We've at least got commands now. So we've got... Uh, we don't have a lot of commands, but I've got one just kind of explaining the whole, like, I'm a mom thing. In case people wonder why I sometimes... And playing catch while I'm streaming. <laughs> um, and then Mux just made a test string command. I left it because why not? Um, and then obviously disc links to the Discord and the YouTube, and then one about the fishing thing. So now though, drink. I, I just drank chocolate milk. Does that count? I should have left the pineapple pizza one just for shits and giggles. If only because it's so controversial. Nobody would understand the depths of the in joke though. I know. I would just probably we would probably just start riots in the chat because pineapple on pizza. Which would also be part of the fun, though, so... Okay, for now, though, let's dive back in. We were exploring the left side of the map. And we got some of it done. We went over here, we cleared the shroud route. We were coming kind of coming up to here. We did the ancient obelisk. I mean, the big thing would be... I mean, we should probably go get the alchemist. Just so that that way we can see what they can make for us. Um... And then we'll go from there and we'll decide whether to tackle another elixir well or whether to try the farmer. But I feel like we might want to level a bit first. So we're level four already. We've got three skills. Yes, I can get Eagle Eye! <gasps> Nice. Look at that. How much does the arrow drop on this? Holy sh- that zooms in a lot more than I thought it did. Like, that was hard to judge the distance just because of how far that was zooming in. Take it. 
Or my backpack is full. So let's, before we head out, we'll make sure we cook. We'll empty our inventory. We'll have to decide where the blacksmith, where the alchemist is going to live. We could always have, like, a road come off over here and have him come back here. I'm pretty sure this... Yeah, this here's all my area now, too. We could always have the road come off this way. We'll make sure everything is repaired. Wait, I have green boots? this in here. Kind of hoping the alchemist will let me make this, but I don't know what will let me make that. We should probably try to make more flint arrows as well. I know I have dirt in here somewhere. Um, maybe try to harvest some more mushrooms. I don't think I have a lot of mushrooms. I can do corn instead of mushrooms, but corn increases my- or mushrooms increase my intelligence, which I'm kind of using, because I do use my wand as my main backup, so. Oh, wait, right. Let me... Okay, no, I did leave it over here, okay. I thought I was slowly moving everything over here. No, that's that. Oh, did I put it in here? Yes. We have to finish up this, um... I don't have any. I need to get the dirt on me. That's not what I want. I need the dirt road block. Maybe while we're out there, we'll try to stop by the salt mine as well.
Okay, then I'm gonna go get the hoe and flatten it. And that should hopefully... Or the rake and flatten it. go. Yeah, that, that works. That works. Doesn't need to be perfect. I like it. Okay. We'll go make more flint arrows. Takes the heart. Okay, that gets me a bunch. Then we'll cook this, put that back away, and try to find some mushrooms before we head out. We can loot these now, though. It's not that mushrooms are hard, I just kind of stopped picking them up because of space reasons, so... Should be able to restock that quick, and then we'll go, we'll cook everything. We don't waste our arrows. I thought something was blowing here, but I don't see what it was. Um. Oh, that's plenty. Okay. Um, how's our water looking? 17, we're fine on water, too. Oh, and I know last time I streamed, I talked about, like, I didn't know what was going to be happening in the future. We think we've got it sorted, and I'll be good to just keep staying, to stay at home, streaming mom, so. It's not guaranteed yet, but 
it's essentially just pending final paperwork, so. There's, that's a lot of food now. That's a lot better. Um, bring the bandages back down. We'll put a torch back down. We can drop off the last bit of gear again. Or, uh, loot. That's charcoal. Scrap is the big thing that I want to try and find more. Actually, if we go up through this area here and go through this camp, we can farm a little bit of scrap that way. Because we'll, we can kill the, the bandits or whatever they are. On the way. Ooh, okay. So, kill the flies with fire. Got it. I don't know how to hit that one. <gasps> Given that this whole thing is in engine, like, um, sorry, like, not in engine, but like custom engine, I'm actually really impressed with like with all the atmospherics and everything like the environment and the like i know that this this is let me you know what i'm gonna look up what other games these guys have done Pretty much. So they did, um, they did like a few games earlier, but the biggest one that I recognize is they did Portal Knight. But it doesn't look like they've really done, and then another game called Olympus Rising in 2016. Portal Knight is the only one I've heard of though before this. So it's like the one with the mouse. Oh, this is their I don't know. This one with a mouse. But I don't know what that one is. G Force? Oh, that's a movie. They did so they did a movie on that. Of Apparently a Jamie Oliver game. So they've done some stuff. But. Not a lot that I've like heard of before. Sacred 3 apparently. Whatever that is. I just mean though like. It's not like they're like. Really heavy into like the open world RPGs. From what I can tell. 
And so I personally find this kind of impressive that like their game is rough on the computer, you can tell, but I don't know what game wouldn't be with these kind of graphics and atmospherics and stuff. Given it's all from scratch, it's impressive. Yeah, because they didn't, like, they weren't happy with, like, from what I read, they weren't happy with, um, how other engines, or they didn't think other engines would be able to handle the voxels. Like, the voxel system that they wanted to do. Which makes sense, because... I don't know if there are many, if any, games that use a system like this that use a pre-built engine, are there? Because there's... I'm trying to think of how many games have, um, like, voxel building or, um, like, terrain deformation. Even if it's not, like, both. And it's like, I can think of like, so like, obviously Minecraft is going to be like the kind of like the baseline and the one that most people are going to be the one that a lot of people are going to be familiar with. Um, and then... Oh, come on. Um, and then there's No Man's Sky, and I'm, I think No Man's Sky has their own engine? And then the only other one that I can even think of would be Seven Days to Die. And I don't know, is that its own engine, or is that, um... Is that one of the big engines? I don't know. Keep losing my mouse. He was like in the hole when he tipped over. I mean, like, yeah. And I think that's one thing, too, that a lot of people don't consider when criticizing the performance on some games like this. And I'm not saying that that should excuse people, like, excuse games entirely from having to have some, like, standard level of performance, but, you know, it's a big difference whether you're using a, an engine that's been made with essentially, like, performance in mind and, like, ease of use for people without even coding knowledge to be able to use it and... Oh my god, there are way too many people in there. Okay. Playing. We sneak around here. We go up here. And we see how many we can kill from up here. Okay. 
Yeah, I got two with that barrel. Wait. Oh, he's sleeping, I think. The AI in this could use a touch of work. I'll, I'll, I'll give it that. The AI in this could use a little work. That's so much fun to do. We're getting more metal scraps. Like, do these people not care that they're sleeping on a skeleton? That's my big question. Like, I want to know more about the lore of those people because... Crackling is, the cracking is comfy. <laughs> I mean... I do think they need to- they need to find a solution. I don't know if this is because the video card has a low VRAM or not. Um, but they need to find a solution to this texture loading issue. That's probably one of my biggest complaints, because it's like... I'm playing on, like, such- I'm able to otherwise play on such beautiful graphics, but then I'll just have a random texture in the middle of this, like, beautifully rendered 4K scene that, like, doesn't load. I don't know, maybe- maybe we'll have to look into that and see if there's a way to fix that via settings or if it's a known problem or what. Judging from my experience on their Discord, their solution would just be buy a new two thousand dollar video i almost died their solution would be buy a new two thousand dollar video card now i'm scared to loot anything in here Getting the loot is, uh, for these coins is, uh, or runes is a good thing too, because this way I can upgrade my weapons. Like my gear. I need to not search anything else until my health recharges, because otherwise I'm gonna tip over. Because my bet is they'd probably say it's a VRAM issue. Which I could 
legitimately see, but... Stop mo- Why are the- Why are you going? Clearly, he wasn't sure either, so... Oh, there's a lot of them there. There was a wolf up here last time. Oh, my finger hurts. I was like, the fuck is making that goat, though? Apparently, fireflies. The answer is fireflies. Because we're trying to go up over here. Actually, you know what? There's a tomato over here somewhere I want to get. It was like up on a hill here somewhere. I'm not there. Right there, I see the tomato. I don't know why sometimes it clicks more than you click it. Save the bunny! Because I want this tomato in case I need it later. Oh, it gives me dexterity! That would be good for my bow. My bow builds. Ah! He could get up! Was not expecting that.
I have an idea. I want to try this. I was expecting more of a light source in the area. <laughs> Sorry, Max is just showing me something he's doing in WoW. Oh my god. He's essentially on the tiniest of goats. There we go. I can't believe it took you that long to think of that. <laughs> yeah, because I think I read that, that that mount is, like, exceptionally small. That's a bunny. It's like the pony from the Death Knight Zart starting with them. Tempted to try going in there? Wait, I see something though, right? Do I? Or is that just the mist? You know what? We'll, we'll try it, but we'll do it after it turns to daytime. I don't know if I really want to try going in there at night. Even though there'll probably be better visibility in there than there would be up. My inventory is... I, I can get rid of the rock. And the berries. And the lean meat. be over there. Can I get on top of that rock right there? I think the drop is too fast if I were to try and fly onto that rock. Did I try? Oh, if I jump, if I sprint, jump, and then glide. Maybe? Nope. Oh god. Not cool, not cool! Didn't we come here already? Why is it going red? Because that indicates new. Ah. 
Ow. Okay, I guess this treasure just refreshes every time? See, this, uh, that's one thing that I think they should do, change that I think they should make in this game, is that some things, like some loot sources, shouldn't respawn on load as much as they do. Okay. I have to use the bathroom. So. I'm gonna hope this spot is safe. Um, we will... Eat a mushroom. How long does the mushroom last? 14 minutes. It is not gonna take me 14 minutes to use the bathroom. So I will be right back, guys. We're going to run a short break screen while I run to the bathroom, and then we'll continue.